So dear brothers and sisters, so dear friends, I feel very glad to be here with you. And also we would like to, in, to welcome all of you to be here with us. It's very nice to be together as uh, the group. Scott, the life is busy there, out there. Do you, do you feel that you're busy here? You are busy, busy here? Anybody feel busy here? We are busy in sitting, huh? <laughs> I'm very young, so I enjoy my life a lot. <laughs> but sometimes um, the question is, uh, life is very busy out there. How can we practice and how can we live with a busy life like that? So tired is busy. I don't want to be busy. I don't want to be relaxed. I want to be free. Actually, we are not free. <laughs> when I come here, <coughs> we come here earlier, and brother Mark and Sister Quen Yim and Sister Huang Yim. So my name is Mante. So four of us came here earlier, and we enjoy we enjoy uh, dinner in the park. And after that, we do walk-in. So I feel very lucky that I am in the Portland because the weather is great. Weather is very cool and the wind a lot. And also, uh, see a lot of uh, green trees. Compared to California, we don't have, South California, we don't have green like this. We don't have trees very green and cool air like this. So it's very lucky in the Poland. Healthy environments, healthy uh, nature. So we are in the nature. For me, I practice is uh, I got ordained very young when I was fourteen, and I see that uh, I have a chance to enjoy my life in a healthy way because I have a lot of opportunities to come back to myself a lot. There is a place that we can take refuge in. There is a place in ourselves. We call the island. And that is one thing is very important from the beginning to the end of your life. Physically, that is a breathing. I remember when I, when I was uh, 14, and sometimes I asked myself, like, uh, how, was, how was I feeling when I was at the first time when I was born? I was born from my mother's home. And uh, I have a lot of questions like that. I asked my mom. And my mom let me know about, uh, you was crying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> But she feel very happy because I've, I has um, I has um, older sisters. She just two years old and she died because she she was not healthy uh, when she was born. Two years old, she died. I did not have a chance to to see her face yet. So my mom said that you was crying a lot, but I feel happy because you crying and then you can breathe and you can pass that uh, difficult moments and then I'm, I'm safe and you are safe. But how can we imagine? How, how can we feel when in that moment we cannot breathe? We, the first moment we cannot breathe and then we die. The first breath, the first breathing. We, we can't take it and then we cannot take this second breathing, second breath. So the manifestation of our life is the first breathing. That's very important for us. Continue, continue our life until when we stop breathing, that we not manifest. In this physically moment for you. So for me, breathing is something very important. 
going for me from the beginning when I feel for my body until I don't feel my body anymore. That I see a friend, beautiful friend, go with me anytime. I feel very happy with that. And when I practice with the mindful breathing, we call the concept breathing. Uh, have energy is we call mindfulness energy. That how can we enjoy that energy and generate energy in our daily life? A lot of people cannot practice, and they see that um, it's very busy. Yeah, it's just busy. Life very busy. What I heard one thing is. Some people say that suffering is optional. It's an optional. So busyness is an optional as well. Busy or not busy, it's depend on you. You want to be busy? Sometimes we don't want to be busy. Sometimes we sit here, some of you feel that you are busy. I'm sure. But some of us, some of you also feel that you are not free, busy. You are very free, very relaxed. Busy up here. We have a lot of thousand thoughts planning to the future to do this and that. And then we're so busy. We're busy our life all the time. I have a friend. He's also very young. And he's, uh, he wants to study a lot. And then uh, he said that, okay, I want to be, you know, to be a doctor and want to be a beautiful teacher, this and that. And he planned a lot. He go to school and he's 13 and also he got a job. And then he'll come back home. And he don't want to be a doctor anymore because he want to be another one. And then continue to study and then get a job, come back home and play with friends. And then he, he loses inspiration. But one thing he feels that he needs to do now is he needs to be present with his family. Because he recognized that uh, every day he go out to his house, go to school, but he needs to come back his home until his mother very sick. He recognized that. He needs to be with his mother. Important because he don't want to be lost his mother until he until uh, hers die. So he wants to be with her mother. I recognize that, that what I was doing, what I was doing in the past. Right now is the good thing is now is to be with life, to be with my mother. I see that is something we need to recognize that what is meaningful for our life. That is our presence. Only one present moment can be meaningful for you to take to the next steps. That is the future. Present moments, that is the foundation of future, your continuation in the future. And also that moment can be healing a lot from the past. And when I practice with mindful breathing, I recognize that in this present moment, I can be meaningful for myself. I can be recognized that who I love and who I am, what I want to be. So when I, uh, when I heard and I played uh, with my friend, and he's, uh, from his situation, I learned a lot. So because that have accident, have very, his mother very sick, that is an opportunity for him to look back. No running anymore. He want to do, but actually he not want to do because he wants to do like the others, 
but actually he don't want to be. So in our life, we always want to be like the others and want to run in this and that. But check again, is that necessary to want to be? Or we want to be busy and then come back home also busy. We can, nothing to do, but also busy because we want to organize a party, this and that. So I think that um, mindful breathing, that is a practice very meaningful for us to trail in your body and in your breathing, that you can come back to your breathing and recognize that you are breathing and you are breathing out. And then you certainly say that you are alive. Take a moment to breathe. Even you are in school, you are uh, in the company. Because if you stop breathing, you cannot continue to work anymore. And uh, some things about when we are uh, traveling, we want to travel in from here and there any time to want to be uh, on the car. I want to travel in from this place another place. We walk in any time by steps. So we can use our steps to practice our mindful steps. So for me, is every day, everybody have a 24 hours to live the same. But how can we use 24 hours to, to be meaningful for, for us? So when you go to school or you go to the company to work, you are the way to do walking from the park lot to the company. So that time you can do walking in such a way that you feel peace and joy in there. You can feel that you are alive. So you can bring your mindful breathing in there. You can apply it, you step, and you can feel that you are alive and you feel relaxed. That is already practice. That is a mindfulness practice you can generate anytime, anywhere. And uh, also, also you can uh, enjoy your breathing when you are in the car. And you, rec- you recognize that you are, you are here. You are here in the car. And then you have, a, you have a awareness of your life. You're aware of what is going on. That is the mindfulness energy. You're aware that you are alive. That is, you are present for your life, so that you don't want to run in anymore. So that our brother and sister just come in, so we welcome them. So I would like to uh, share about, uh, shortly about that. So you can uh, see that uh, even where you are, what you are doing. But the most important for you is remember again when you uh, were born, the first moment. If you cannot take the first breath, the first breath, you cannot be manifest in this world. So you go anywhere to have uh, breathing. That don't cost anything to, to buy it. You can how can we use breathing to be, to be with your life meaningful? We enjoy mindful breathing, concept breathing, recognize that who you are, recognize that what you have now, enjoy with that. So that is, even you are busy, but you are not busy. So you bring all intention down to your belly and recognize that you are breathing in, breathing out. So you are no more busy at all. So your thought, let go, and you stop your thinking, and then you have some resting. So when you have some resting, you feel healthy, you feel relaxed, you continue to work. So that work, that business, meaningful for you. But if you don't do that, you just run in after this and another, another. Every day that I come back home, turn on the television, and then watch a movie, and then sleep in, and then go to the work again, come back, Every day that 24 hours, they're the same. It's boring. 
something is one play that you can take the views is inside of you, the impress and outpress. Able to combat your impress and outpress, that is able to generate peace and joy for yourself. And then you can create that energy to your beloved ones, even where you are. And I want to end my sharing by something. Sometimes um, my, my teachers, uh, our teachers, taught us about sometimes a joy is a source of smiling, of smile. But sometimes a smile is a source of your joy. So you can get off business, but you can smile your body and generate choice. That is something we need every day to notice you before you do work. Even you are in the working, you can enjoy that. Thank you for your listening.